This is an ABC7 editorial with Steve Sabato. Last week, Governor Scott made a tough call. For the second time in three years, he vetoed an alimony reform bill. The bill would have also revised the rules for determining the custody of children. Permanent alimony awards would have been replaced with formulas that allowed for adjustments if there were significant changes in a person's income, like unemployment or retirement. Maximum awards would have been capped at 55% of a person's income. The bill would also have created a premise of equal time for each parent in custody cases. Opponents argued the bill would have a negative impact on children and spouses, mostly women. Supporters contend the reform gives men an equal opportunity for the care of their kids in an alternative to the current alimony for life approach. Governor Scott justified the veto saying he's a father and a grandfather who puts kids first. Critics say Scott caved under pressure from powerful Tallahassee lobbyists. Our legislators deserve credit for their efforts to give the governor a bill that provides reasonable reform. If Governor Scott felt compelled to veto, it would have helped if he had provided specific details on what he is willing to sign. Maybe next session, long overdue reform will finally be enacted. I'm Steve Sabato, and we'd like to hear from you. The opinions expressed in this editorial do not necessarily reflect those of ABC7's owners or management. If you would like to comment, go to our website, www.mysuncoast.com, and click Community.